just the on, on referring to the debrief report from February 18, it doesn't seem to be any mention of the, the council's costs and recovery for the building works done onto um, various buildings, you know, for the demolition and for the scaffolding, etc. These costs have been laid onto people and, and are believed to be like pursued in an aggressive manner. I just wonder if you can give us an update on that. My understanding is we've spent upward of £400,000. Um, when, when we decided to clear the site, it seemed to me that it wouldn't be very helpful if we took crushing equipment and took all the, all, did all the crushing of the, and the sorting of the rubble and the timber and all the other stuff on that site. So what we did was um, we took it away to the Rock Ferry High School site where we were doing demolition already and we had a crushing plant and we took the stuff there to be dealt with. Um, didn't make us te terribly popular with the neighbours there because they were already part way through a big demolition. But we did that to move it away. We've actually subsequently gone back because I think again representations have been made and against the same expenditure code we're now doing some additional work which is at the request of the community which is the, the landscaping and providing benches and planters and things. So that's, I, mean, I can't remember what the exact figure is because I've not looked at it recently. It was, it was upwards of about £400,000 I think. Okay, yeah, I understand that, I appreciate that. But there, there are a couple of properties who are now being levied or cancelled or charged and now, haven't you? It's a couple of hours, so I believe. Um, you've still got them costs. I'm certainly aware that there's one plot of land that was cleared that has a charge uh, set, as it, set against it. As part of the strategic acquisition programme that we're now running to try and create some new redevelopment opportunities, we, we have reached an agreement with that particular landowner. Yeah, we've currently, um, we've currently reached agreement in terms of the properties where the blast took place. We've actually got one that's bought in. That was, that was through a building society. That was quite straightforward. We've got three where we've got agreement and there with legal. We've got a provisional agreement with the blast site itself. And we've got one other where we've got agreement. So on, around the blast area, we've actually made some progress. Um, it's proving to be more difficult with the properties on the main road in terms of our starting point and the owner's starting points. In terms of value, but obviously we're going to negotiate with them until we sort it out. 